Welcome along to the channel. Thanks for joining us once again. Um, it's only a short one I'm doing today. This is uh, me and Austin going out for a little walk up near to Brackley Viaduct. So I just thought I'd show you the track bed along here. Um, it's a nice little walk. So I've uh, not really done this one before. Uh, so, well, I've actually walked down here before, but I'm actually put up as a video. So hope you enjoy this little one. There's Austin. Um, and there's a couple other little bits I want to show you, which because this is local to me, I've not really uh, filmed it. So just down here, backing onto these houses. Um, it's a nice little underpass, Great Central Railway. Uh, it used to be a farm access bridge. So we're gonna try and get down there and have a look. see it's all been dug out actually I don't think we can go that way we've got to go back back down this way <coughs> Austin right so while we make our way to the uh, underpass just got across the other side of the trap bed so this would have been heading towards the Brackley viaduct and then Back this way would have been towards Brackley Station, Brackley Central Station. And there's an industrial estate on the track bed there, Top Station Road. So let's go down this uh, rather steep embankment. <laughs> Go on, Austin. He's off. And this is the only way of getting to it is from the other side, actually. This uh, really nice little underpass that was built, obviously, for farm access. And there's a abutment wall there. Still got his capping stone intact, which is nice to see. And this is quite hidden really. I mean, it's all covered in ivy, as you can see. The wing wall is, and the, the other side is just through there, which is a wing wall. So it's quite a big underpass. So take this little pathway here. Yeah, it's all covered in ivy. But you'll get the idea of the scale when I get to the other side. Yeah, you can probably make out how long this is. Probably about 50 foot, if not more long. Last come down here is a tree that was leaning against the uh, wall at the top, so these trees have been recently planted. Let's see if we can still squeeze through. Look at that, isn't that nice? Apart from the tree that's broken through the top wall. And that left hand side wing wall goes into someone's back garden. <laughs> that's one hell of a tree there that's, that's grown since closure. And it's just taken out the wall at the top. And half of that wing wall is missing. So yeah, it's very similar to uh, the underpass at Helmden. Um, not as long, but it's a similar sort of thing. But it's a grand structure, isn't it, for farm access. So there, there we go. So we'll continue walking along the 
track bed towards where the viaduct was and I'll try and pop up some pictures towards the end to give you an idea of what back viaduct used to look like. Right, okay, so we're back on track level. So, as you can see, it's very overgrown, this section of the Great Central. But giving you an idea of the width for this part leading up to the viaduct, would have been that same width as that underpass, so a good 50, 60 foot. So it's a mass construction uh, embankment when the Great Central was built. So I'll give you an idea of the width. Well, just about make it out, so there's your edge just in there. And the other edge is about there. So we'll continue walking down here and it opens out a little bit. There's no sort of evidence of anything left from uh, the railway itself. Like most of it now, it's just overgrown. So about another 200 metres further up would be the uh, Brackley Viaduct, which is obviously the one of the grand, well, it was the grandest structure of the Great Central. And it lasted until, well, 12 years after the railway closed. So it was, it was blown up in 1978. Um, there is some footage somewhere on YouTube if you if you look it up to do with uh, Brackley Viaduct. Some old footage of it. It's sadly coming down. And the uh, just going back to where we're walking. So now it's just starting to thin out a little bit. And just see the edges quite clearly and just in there so you're going back to the viaduct it was blown up in 1978 and um, all the hardcore was sold off to the building well part of the road building of Milton Keynes so the chap who bought the viaduct um, it was a farmer I think and he Basically, for what you bought the viaduct for, you got more back in hardcore. So, a bit of a shame, really, because it would have been a, a real icon now, especially for the town of Brackley, if it is still here. But it's just one of these things, you know, once the railway shuts, it's the maintenance of these massive viaducts that obviously uh, cost a fortune. So there you go, this opens up a little bit here. <clears throat> Haven't got any leftover structures like P-way huts or anything along here. It's just literally what you see. Just a nice little walkway. And over in the distance there, you can see Brackley St. Peter's Church. Come on in, Austin. You're sniffing everything. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, hope you enjoy this video. I mean, I've got uh, Wednesday free this week, so what I'm going to do is continue back on the restoration of the brake van at the uh, Northampton Ironstone Railway Society. So, I'll try and do another video on Wednesday to see how we uh, get on that day because still a lot of uh, preparation to do so I'm doing that as a bit of a voluntary favour really so I'm quite enjoying it so yeah we're just opening up now and you can just see straight ahead is where the viaduct would have started
So you can just see where the ground drops. Just in front of me here, it's where, roughly where the viaduct would have started. And there's some remains of the viaduct just there. We'll have a closer look at. And this is the only sort of bit left. There isn't anything over the other side, so you can just make out just the embankment over to the other side where it's darker. You can see the fields either side. So yeah, this is all that's left of the uh, viaduct. Typical loads of litter around here. But... So you can just make out how it was made and how thick it was. I mean, that's about one, two, three, four, five, six courses of red brick. And then you've got your main blue engineering brick to the outside. Isn't that a sad sight? Just that one little bit of arch that's left. So that would have been the first arch that went over to about where Austin is, or a little bit further down. You can see the scale of this uh, viaduct, 22 arches. You know, you can see the depth of the, the brickwork. Now you've got two courses of uh, blue engineering brick. Wait, lost in, stop rubbing in. Nah. So there we have it, this is Brackley Viaduct. Oh, well, that's all that's left of it. And you've still got the old mill building which is down there, which you'll probably see in one of the photographs I'll put up after this video. Uh, well, towards the end of the video, I'll put the pictures up so it'll give you an idea what it looked like, just in case you've not seen this before. And the viaduct itself actually went on a slight curve to the right. 22 arches long, plus it had some steel girders on the far side, uh, which is classed as the south side, but I'm stuck on the north side. And if you look back on one of my videos, you can actually uh, see some drone footage from above. So there we go, this is the remains of Brackley Viaduct. I hope you enjoyed this little insight to Brackley Viaduct. Um, please like, share, and leave a comment if you wish. Um, be very grateful. And uh, hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.